I am hopeful about opportunities brought up by COVID-19 for libraries to innovate, to serve communities deeply affected by the pandemic, and for us to advocate for universal broadband, copyright matters, open access, and yes, climate change. As per events, I have coordinated with IFLA CBD WL and the new professionals with ALA. We add to impact public policy to continue providing access to information to better people's lives, education, and lifelong learning. I am worried about the sustainability of IFLA and library associations. Their revenues and membership engagement being affected by the economic crisis resulting from the pandemic. As president of IFLA, I will work with the Secretary General and Governing Board to move forward a risk analysis and management program for IFLA and seek new revenues of income that will include online continuing education for associations, institutions, and librarians, and online professional programs to support associations to equip themselves with tools that will work and help them increase positive results in these areas. I am also worried about how we sustain access to digital resources as a result of COVID. I will work for IFLA to use its power to support a sustainable environment with fair prices and the best availability for ebooks and other online resources together. After more than 12 months of living in a COVID-19 world, it can be challenging to imagine the future of libraries in a post-COVID world. I know from my own experience, COVID-19 has changed the way that we deliver services, how we work and how we plan for the future. COVID-19 has been more than a health crisis. It has also been a social and economic crisis, and these factors must be considered as we consider the future. From an economic perspective, there will be more pressure to secure funding and many of us will be prioritising our services within stretched budgets. And each of us has personally experienced the social impact on ourselves, families, friends, colleagues and our communities. Although COVID's impact has varied across the globe, it will be one of the great markers of the 21st century. Our libraries have responded well with great skill, speed and creativity to ensure that services remain accessible, particularly to the most vulnerable. We've developed new services and accelerated our digital delivery. So I am far more excited than I am worried about libraries in a post-COVID world. I'm excited by the way people have taken to the media to say how much they've missed libraries being open. I'm excited by how this gratitude has changed our relationship with governments as they have seen the incredible reach and value of our services. It has been fantastic to see the record number of nominations in the current IFLA elections, the highest ever. Nominations come from across the globe, from colleagues at all stages of their careers. It is a demonstration of the commitment and willingness by you to support and progress IFLA priorities. It demonstrates your belief in the values and work of IFLA. We can be very proud of our professional units. They have been more active in the last 12 months than ever before. There is no doubt that this commitment and enthusiasm will carry forward to the future. It will make us an even stronger global voice for libraries. So let's work together to imagine and deliver the next phase of libraries supporting our global community. It excites me so much to see how wonderfully, creatively and flexibly libraries worldwide have responded to the crisis. Most of the library buildings were closed, but the staff thought of innovative programs to keep their visitors. In a matter of days, um, they became adjusted to the new demands. It is really amazing how librarians in medical research institutes, public, special, national libraries uh, have been um, activated to provide secure, uh, valid and timely information. The role of librarians highlighted as crucial social partners fighting the direct and side effects of the pandemic. I will never forget um, the old woman staying to uh, our next to our house saying the ring in my doorbell from the librarian bringing me the books is the most wonderful sound in my loneliness. 
On the other hand, I observe serious concerns according to the final sustainability of libraries, uh, the new virtual environment, the new demands, the new demands of um, digital content, and of course, the huge issue of the access to information tool and the lifelong learning opportunities. I will work closely with incoming President Barbara to work on how to help libraries and associations recover intensifying IFLAS orientation to maximize the support uh, to libraries and to associations. Last week, um, I moderated uh, an event with the same issue with um, the five IFLA presidents. This was a hot topic and I will do my best on this.